Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. Reaction videos was something that I used to do on this channel a lot, and I've never done one for previous pandas, and it's about to change today. Um, so this is a dance cover by Produce Pandas of League of Legends More. I'm not familiar with the original work. Whenever a Produce Pandas covers a song, it is always something that I didn't know previously, and I get to learn about the songs thanks to Produce Pandas. Now, I've seen the teasers of these, and they looked very cool. But I thought that was like an original song, but turns out it's a cover. That's okay. I think the makeup is really on point. I have one question, though. Did Cass go back to his like purplish neon color, or was this recorded previously? I'm going to say this was recorded like months ago. Members look kind of chubbier. Oh, another thing. They actually revealed the panda trainee's lower face. So his eyes are still a mystery, but we know what the lower part looks like now. And he's uh, more handsome than I thought he would be. Uh, he definitely has very nice lips and very nice cheeks, and he definitely has a very interesting beard. But okay, this video is for 3 minutes 44 seconds. Without further ado, Let's react. KDA, should we show them how we do it every day? Uh, I have to say, I love the outfits. I'm going to stop at certain points because I want to comment on them. <laughs> okay, Alter is not in this scene right now, I think, but let's go. We have to give credit where it's due. Mr. 17 just looks incredible. The look, the hair, the following the cameras. They're all on point. He's amazing. Even in the teasers with the mask, he looked amazing. Like, wow. What an improvement. So. Yes, let's go. Very nice makeup. One thing that I thought about uh, Ding is that I didn't know what the character he was cosplaying as was. I think that's a character from League of Legends, but I likened his stripes on his cheeks to Naruto, and I thought he was cosplaying as Naruto. I guess this is just me being old at this point, but the makeup is really on point. And where is Otter? I wonder if you will get to see him, but we'll see. I guess they're saving him for, like... The special second part, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm loving this right now. <laughs> I remember uh, the pen, uh, this one, the pen uh, Mr. 17 is wearing was in the Daddy uh, song too. If I'm not wrong. And Cass, of course, looks incredible, as always. But I think this is uh, an old video. Like, what I mean by that is something they recorded months ago, during the Cosmic uh, Anthem era. Yes! Cass, get it! Is it just me or do they just put on more makeup on Ding as uh, the video goes on? <laughs> I 
I love how Cass is like so in the front. He is amazing. Obviously, Ding is doing a great job as well. But at this point, I'm really questioning if Otter is ever going to show up. I've seen him in the trailers. I mean, the teasers. But he's not here yet. Let's see. Yes! Ah, there we go. I think Ultra has been improving his uh, dancing. I know he's been taking classes with Bing, I think. That's what he has been doing, and yeah, I love his outfit. Very cute, very handsome, very sexy. All the outfits are very nice, but obviously they have put like a special focus on Otter. Rightfully so. <laughs> He especially tried not to be too sassy at this part because it's very easy to be very sassy at this part, I think. I'm sorry for stalking so long. I I know that this is kind of jarring, but I really want to make some comments of my first impressions, right? Because these are my first impressions. <laughs> and I had to talk about Husky because I think he's the only one that I didn't say anything about. Husky in here looks like he knows the biggest secret you have been keeping and he's just like I know what you're gonna have to Nice! Woo! Congratulations! That was very cool. I think that was very cool. And I'll talk about my comments. I, I felt like what they did with this video is very similar to what Unico Unit did in 2012. I think with they had a song called Max Step, and it was a combination of combination of all the SM Entertainment dancers. You had Tim in there, Kai, Luham. Uh, Anyuk and Henry, and after uh, like the midpoint of the video, Heyon, I think was the name from Girls' Generation, would pop into the music clip, and then they would all start dancing together. And since that last member would join the music clip after the halfway point, the camera would focus on that latecomer more towards the end of the music clip. So that's what I think they did here. Overall, I really like the clothes they went with. I think the members look very, very nice all together. And I like how they use different materials. Like, I think Cass was wearing more of a leather, like a shiny looking leather one. Yeah, a shiny looking leather jacket here. Oh. <laughs> but when you look at Ding, he is wearing more of like a non shining fabric, I think. I don't know. I'm not very familiar with the names of fabrics. I think like every member was unique enough to stand on their own, but when they come together, they have a unified look to them, which makes it very pleasing to the eyes. I would really like them to uh, do their own songs, of course, everyone would want that. But I really like this concept and I would want, I really want them to do an original music club or an original song uh, with their dance cover, just like Cosmic Anto, with this concept, where they have maybe like heavy makeup like this, colored hairs, and you know, leather looking clothes with a lot of visual elements going on. If you look at each member, they have a lot of like straps and belts and different knickknacks going out of their bodies. So that creates a very interesting visual style uh, when the members are dancing. I wonder if like. Mr. Seventeen has dyed his hair, or they put like an attachment with a different colored 
hair to it. Yeah, what else can I say about this music clip? It's, it's very nice, obviously. They dance really good, and I am really happy to see a close-up of the panda training. I re I'm, re I'm still curious what uh, they're planning to do with him. Like, is he going to be a member of an upcoming band, or is he going to be a solo artist? Is he just going to be sent in for members that cannot make it to certain places or to certain videos? I don't know. Like, if you just train him to be a reserve V, that's kind of like a waste of potential, don't you think? But I know, uh, I checked uh, the Panda Trainee's Twitter yesterday, and looks like he's been really training hard, and good for him. I think uh, he can really hold his own uh, with this music clip, especially, but he was kind of on the back burner. But yeah, so that's what I think. Uh, thank you so much for watching my reaction video. I hope you liked it. Make sure that our pandas get a lot of views, because they deserve them. I'll see you guys in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.